Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DOI. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about moss removal. Now, moss will generally accumulate in shady areas. So I'm in the northern hemisphere, I'm north of Seattle. So the north side of the roof will have more moss than on the south side. If you're in the southern hemisphere, it'll be the opposite. But guys, the reasons that you want to remove moss is, first of all, it's ugly, it looks bad. Moss retains water, so even if it hasn't rained for a few days, that moss will still have water in it, which will deteriorate whatever material that it's attached to. So I'm going to show you concrete, but also fence panels, shingles is another common one that moss will cling to. I, I think for the most part, anything that is coarse, uh, moss will stick to it a lot easier. And guys, uh, another reason that you want to remove moss is because it's a safety hazard. I mean, you can slip very easily. This is why uh, rocks on a shoreline where there's water by the beach will be very slippery because of water and then you have a th uh, film, thin film of moss that attaches to the rocks. But guys, uh, what I'm going to show you is a basic way, this is the DIY way of doing it, just taking a brush and mechanically scraping it away. If you guys have a pressure washer, that'll work a lot faster, but I don't have one here. I'm not going to rent one for the amount of work that I need to do. But guys, really quickly, what I'll do now is uh, I will show you what I'm going to clean, why it's accumulated in these areas, and then we'll do the tools list. All right, guys, I'm here in the back lane. So the sun starts from the east, and then it'll pull itself across here. So because we have a garage here, and then a wall here, this area here is not going to be hit by sunlight all that much, and that's why we start to see it accumulate here and here. But guys, where it's shaded is where moss is going to accumulate the fastest. All right, guys, this is about two years worth of accumulation. Accumulation is going to be purely dependent on your region, how much it rains, uh, moisture content, all that type of thing. But guys, this here, this is pretty common. Uh, I scrape this away every couple of years and then, you know, it just keeps coming back. But this concrete slab here, this is actually original to the house. That's why it's pitting and it's eroding away. But other than that, I think this is the most common or this is the, the one area right here is where most of the moss on this property is going to accumulate. All right, guys, these are the pavers that I, that I installed when I did the sewer. So between the cracks, all the seams, that is where moisture is going to stay because it's in a shady area. And you can see here how we have grass starting to grow in between again this it just it looks bad this is not really an issue for safety but a very common thing is here around the sump you can see how thick the moss is growing but for the most part guys this is just a time job it's nothing about buying anything other than basic tools so what we'll do now is the tools list all right guys, this is our tools list. So I'll use the flathead screwdriver for the pavers up top. I've got a small brush and then I have a bigger brush. Guys, one thing to keep in mind is make sure that you have a steel bristled brush because nylon or plastic is going to be too soft to be able to scrape the moss away. But guys, with that in mind, let's get started. All right guys, my suggestion is like when you have steps, start at the top and work your way down. Let's use gravity to our advantage. But I'll just take my two brushes.
All right, guys, with the stairs done, I'm now going to do the the top here. So way at the back there, I'll do uh, from the uh, face, uh, the step, I'll do down the stairs, and then all of this here, I'll take this out as well. All right guys, so this will be the last area that I'm gonna do for you. So really between the pavers is where your moss is going to start to accumulate. All right, guys, this is our finished product. It looks a lot better than it did before. So, guys, again, with stairs, start from the top and then move your way down. Let gravity do its work for you so you don't have to. Otherwise, guys, this is purely a labor job. There's nothing technical about this. You see here where this is the original concrete to the house, how the rocks here is really starting to become exposed and guys once again this is just moss over time it's going to eat away at the concrete and you're going to start losing your pebbles like this rock here i'm sure will will be gone next year but guys other than that i mean everything looks a lot better i cleaned out the stairs cleaned this out guys the last time i did this was probably about two years ago Really quickly, we'll go up and take a look at the pavers. All right guys, this is our pavers. So the moss will come between the cracks. I've noticed also a little bit of moss is starting to grow up on top, guys, once again. This is what happens when moss just has a chance to accumulate. This one's actually even worse. You can see how a corner is now missing, but guys, everything looks good. It looks a lot better than it did before. You don't have to do this very often, but everything looks a lot better if you do. So what we'll do now is an overview of this job. Alright guys, so that concludes this job. So guys, the amount of time that you need is going to be purely dependent on how much moss there is, what it's stuck to, how big of a property you have. There's, there's a lot of things that you need to take into consideration. Now guys, in my case here, all of this, the time was about two hours, and this is me being proactive about cleaning this every second year. Like I said, a pressure washer, you'll be done a lot faster, but I mean, for the amount of time it takes me to go get the pressure washer and get it all ready, I mean, I may as well just do this on my own. Guys, the cost of this job, the cost was nothing. I already had the, the brushes. If you wanna go out and rent a pressure washer, uh, whatever the rate is, I don't know. But uh, if you want to use a pressure washer, I mean, I think it's better to have the whole property just being blasted all at the same time. In my case, it's not worth it for something this small. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope something here is going to help you on your project when you need to go ahead and do that. Guys, until next time, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next project.